tomato cages for me. I'm glad I came out and caught him just in time. He's tied some string and then he's got clips. Okay, Ray, you want to take over? I'll video and you can talk. Okay, these are clips like this. We bought them, I don't know, $20, $24. Uh, you can buy some clips that are better than what these are, but most of the time you gotta buy like 500. Who needs 500? So um, um, try. Uh, these are really made for a stick that goes right in there, really. But I'm just tying them on, and as you can see right here, they're going to work. That's going to work great. Just fine. Um, there's some over on the other side that are all done, but I mean... We will know, you watch know, I, him do this. I hung up the tomatoes already, and it works good. I'm just tying these on. I don't know, about once every six inches. Uh, the first one I went a little bit more... I didn't really like it. I think once every six inches would be better. We've got quite a few of these, so there's no reason to really skimp on them. Just like that. Okay. So, um, you can see some are right here. Oops, I'm sorry. Going over to the other side. Right there. There they are. They're nice and snug. That's oh, hold, yes. that holding them right up. That Good. holds them up nice, Ray. As you can see, uh, they're in a five-gallon bucket. I just tied the uh, one end of the string onto the metal pit bale, bale, bale. Yeah. okay, and then it goes up and uh, goes, ties onto that rod up there. And that is, what kind of rod is that? That's a Three. threaded rod. Threaded rod. But saying that, no, I didn't know what I was doing, and we could have used metal conduit piping, but I had that for nothing now. Well, nothing's better than nothing, right? So that's what I had for free, so that's what I used. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm going to show you I planted basil down here. And I also planted on the other side, but we can't get to that right now. Uh, <laughs> ew, excuse me, something out here has been making me sneeze. I hope it ain't the basil. I hope it's not the basil. No. <laughs> And we're going to see what he's doing, and he's going to show you how he does it with these clips. I'm just tying them on. That's all I'm doing. You know, about once every six inches. Maybe that's too many, but I don't know. It works. You can see my pepper plants over here. We might as well combine what's in the greenhouse while he's doing that. There's another plant that's been clipped up. Look at my pepper plants. I've got all the names and how many I've got. And I've got more begonias here. And I've got this beautiful um, three plant pot stand going here. That, means that I need to put outside. <laughs> and another beautiful dahlia color right there. I was wondering where that one was. Got these beautiful dahlias and a half gallon is it a half gallon i think containers for seven dollars oh, i don't want to start sneezing on here forgive me if i do please oh ray you must be exhausted your knees doing good <clears throat> poor guy he's got dirt everywhere nothing a little soap and water can't clean you up with right ray correct correct he says we use a lot of soap and water around here. I've been in the garden planting too. Planting uh, some of Brenda's, uh, let's see now, there's something like 50, I think, going down in the garden. No, we have 75, around 75 tomato plants total. Right, but down, but down in the garden. Right. I think that's all I got done so far is 50. And I will tell you how many and what kind I've planted in a later video. It's just so much going on here right now. The geese can hear me talking, so they're going to squawk. The I've guinea got, hens. I mean the guinea hens, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to have to shut these windows to the greenhouse because it's going to get down to Both the to high get. 40s, yep. the low 50s tonight. And the wind's, uh, and the wind's blowing. Oh, yes. The Again. Wind, yes, we have had such oh. terrible winds here. It seems like March is never going to stop with the wind blowing. We could use some rain, but like I say, I hope when it starts, it remembers to turn to stop. That nice basil plant down there. I'm going to have to do a trimming on some of them next week. That's good. And of course, I realize some of you people have been getting old, 
over a foot of rain in four hours. We don't need that either. Gosh, no. What would we do? Okay. I'm trying to keep up with you, Ray, if you want to tell us as you're going here. I'm just trying to neaten this up a little bit. I'm looking for my knife. Not a big deal, but see, there's some st string from probably last year. I just like to get rid of that. Kind of. Being... Oh, I can smell the tomato plant. That's probably what got me sneezing. Just kind of being fussy, that's all. Do I well, being fussy, Ray, and there's nothing wrong with that. I just like it neat and clean. Because after two or three years, it gets to be quite a mess. Okay. Yep. I'm going to put this on. That first one is a little bit close, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I like it nice and tight. Yep, tight is good. Tight will hold things as it grows, and it will pull. Of course, some of the leaves kind of get broke off. It's hard. I should have done this a while ago, but just like a lot of people, it's... It's hard. We have so many projects going, Ray. Well, I mean, just like everybody. Planting air in the in the greenhouse and trying to plant outside and do all the all the mowing. We are so behind in mowing right now. And it looks like I'll be farther behind as the weather's not going to be great this week. There you go. You tied it on the bale yep. handle. Good. Super. It's not going to slip. No, I can see that. Uh, what's the old saying go? If you don't know how to tie a knot, tie a lot. That's a good one, Ray. I can't say I've heard that for a long time. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, I don't want to remove that stick yet because there's a stick that I think that's holding this whole thing up. I was going to say you can leave the stick on, can't you? I could. There's one clip. Take it off. I mean, I'm, don't let me tell you what to do. You're doing a mighty fine job. I just got to turn the clip the right way. Here, there you go. Open it up and clip that on. Don't get the tomato oh, plant. I'm say, please there. don't break. <laughs> that uh. was a lot of hard work right there. Ooh. Is she going to break? Nope. Okay. <sighs> you treating it that rough yet? Well, I just saw a couple of blossoms go. Oh. There'll be plenty more. Yeah, there'll be lots plenty. There'll be lots there. there. Can you move that limb just a little bit there so you can see right there. It's all clipped up, and as it grows, we I can, will... I can add another one there, I guess, if I want to. There. That not be a bad idea. There. He's got that all done. Okay, folks, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much, Ray. Yeah. And um, this is what's going in the greenhouse right now. We've got... Um, a real pretty basket of nasturtiums growing there. Yeah. We've got dahlias to go out. He's got his other plants to finish there. And I'm pretty much done planting in here. We have some planting outside and I guess we're putting up another greenhouse. So we're gonna try growing some stuff because I'm having such great luck with what we have. So if you like this video, please give me thumbs up and you never know what's going to be on my videos. Have a great day. God bless.